Double greedy. Okay, I want to do get nervous now. In my opinion, the little meme is really important to redeem and to change the black narrative that we have in the world, and especially in America. Whoa, she's just like me. Wait, how? Hello guys, hola gente, welcome back to my channel, not your channel, so your opinion, it does not matter. Pues así soy, y la queso. It's really nice to be back, I swear to myself that I was gonna be doing videos every two months. But I guess I am just a liar, aren't I? I procrastinate a lot and I get depressed a lot. Today we have a really hot topic. I've been listening to a lot of all the controversy that The Little Mermaid has caused for the past two years, I think. And I've been quiet. I mean, no, not, not really, because I've been posting every meme in four of the movie that has come out. I've been watching a lot of influencers commenting on this topic and a lot of YouTube videos. And I have seen also how people has received the movie and unfortunately a lot of that was not that great finally we watched the movie with my partner a few weeks ago and now i want to make this video to explain why in my opinion my so i don't want anybody there <laughs> hating because it is my opinion and everybody's entitled to their opinion. Also, I want to let you know that I am dramatic as fuck and I am Colombian. So this is gonna be like a Hollywood movie that is based on real events. 20% is gonna be true and 80% is going to be made up. And also, of course, you know me, you have seen my last two videos and you know that I always go on tangents. So be patient because I always speak about something and I start speaking about that something and then I ended up speaking about something completely different and that's the story of my life so just be patient, I have a point I don't know if I'm going to get my point or I'm going to finish it but that's the point of this video <laughs> first thing first first thing about me, I'm the baddest alive <laughs> First thing first guys, yeah, no seriously. So to understand the importance of the Little Mermaid, we need to start making an analysis about what the Little Mermaid is as a movie itself and why is it that people have accepted it and how and why is people not accepted it. In order to understand the relationship between Black and Hollywood, we need to travel back to history. We need to remember that for decades we have been used to seeing black people being portrayed in movies as the criminal, the dumb, the help, and we are not used to seeing them as a main role in movies. The year is 1612 and we are in America, in Virginia to be precise. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is not America people. How America people act. Harley. <laughs> Black. Harley. Wait. <laughs> no, oh my god. I cannot be cancelled because it's partially true. In the 16th century, 20 slaves were brought from Africa to America. And from that moment, as slaves will become a valuable commodity and a force that will help the USA economic. From the 16th century to early 19th century, more than 12 million slaves were brought from Africa to the Americas. It is claimed that more than 2 million people didn't make it because the circumstances in which they were transferred through the Atlantic trade system were very inhuman. So what was to be a slave? The slave people were dehumanized, which means they were not able to form families. They didn't have rights. Actually, there were laws that wouldn't allow them to sue their owners or to, to bring any case to the police or to the law. And on top of the many things that slaves endured, they were also stripped from their identity. All this damage was needed to, to be caused because we know now that slavery was inhuman, but in order to, for other groups 
to do so, to do that to somebody else, we needed to dehumanize the per the, the the group, so we didn't feel guilty or any remorse. The dehumanization of the group was already spread throughout society, but of course, who made this the normal was the government. And although there were there were people from bo both groups, you know the the victim and the victimizer that saw that what was happening was wrong. They tried to fight it, but to be honest, at the time the government could know and wouldn't allow the main source of income to be annihilated. Finally, in 1863, Abraham Lincoln will sign the Emancipation Proclama Procla Proclamation. Yeah, that's the word. Emancipa Emancipation Proclamation, again, the words here. Which pretty much means that every slave that was in the nation must be free. It took almost 200 years, but finally slavery was abolished. And this happened during the Civil War, which is pretty much a fight to abolish slavery between United States and the Confederate States, in which surprisingly enough, part of their, that group was, was Florida and Mississippi. So yes, you two, you don't have a good track on doing what is morally right. And clearly you are showing it once again. That's good. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Not even Judah has that record. <laughs> like Judas fucked up once and he was like, I'm done. You will not hear from me again. But we keep hearing from you people and we will hear from you again <laughs> in history. But anyway. And the reason why it was, it was because while the North wanted to abolish slavery and focus in a more industrialized economy, the South wanted to remain an economy based solely in slavery. Anyway, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln signed the proclamation and slavery finally is abolished. And one might think, finally, the storm has passed and the sun will come. But that one will be an ignorant to think that. <laughs> because of course, even though slavery was abolished, the mindset that was put on in people for over 200 years remained. So what happened after slavery was abolished was even harder than slavery itself. It's so that actually there are some slaves that were upset that they were set free. We need to remind that they were not allowed to have any education or they didn't have much studies. And while they were slaves, they were taken care by the owner. Now they needed to make a living by themselves. And in a society that was extremely racist, that meant more abuse. One of these examples of racism is the America of Jim Crow. This guy was the guy that enforced segregation. And I know we all have seen how segregation work. Now we are, I will bring you a little bit forward when we start having the cinematography as a main of entertainment and as a form of, of art. <coughs> we know that Hollywood and movies and anything that is audiovisual influence societies just as any medium of art does and vice versa. At the beginning of the cinematogra cinematography <laughs> industry, there was a lack of representation of black people and if there was it was in a way that was not helping that group. It was so bad, actually, that if you go and Google, instead of hiring black actors, they will, they, they call it black face, I think. They will paint the face of white people black. In 1985, one of my favorite, favorite, favorites, favorite directors, Directed The Color Purple, just like The Little Mermaid, it wasn't well recepted by the masses. So, even though Black African High gave us jazz, blues, hip-hop, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, 
Beyonce, Viola Davis, Chips, Zendaya, Zendaya, Michael Jackson, Grace Jones, Arita Franklin, and my grandma. Even though we have had so much contribution from the black community, still today there is no enough acceptance and we haven't redeemed that community and we have struggled so hard to change the narrative just a couple of years ago we saw the black light matter movement we are seeing right now what is happening in america with the mississippi state we see women trying to fit the standards of beauty they uh, imposed by the majorities you know like i see women using wigs and there is nothing wrong with that but also it takes the power to accept your who you are and we have seen more representation of the black communities we have seen movies just where most of the people are black and we have seen representation on animations for children for adults and the upsetting thing is that people call it call it force inclusion and then comes disney the biggest house production i know of in the world and one of the most influential decides to make a remake of the little mermaid casting a black actress what is really important for me is that the actress and the way this movie was produced and everything you're gonna see in the movie is literally influencing new generations that are going to grow up watching themselves being represented, watching them being accepted, seeing a little girl will see her hair, her curly hair, and she will grow out thinking that that is beautiful as well, you know, black is beautiful. Instead of trying to change who they are in order to fit the standard that they will never be able to fit in. Finally guys, I guess the whole point of this video is to try to encourage the influencers, oh, the white people or the black people, the brown people, mestizos, eh, maoris, nativos, natives, eh, indios, eh, asians, migrants, S2, LGBTQ, plus plus plus, I don't know all of them because there is a lot, tall person, small person, fat person, slim person, everybody that belongs to a minority, to be more accepting, to be more thoughtful about what we put upside on social media because it does impact and it does influence minds believe it or not what you said somebody it will be the reinforcement that somebody is needing either to love or to hate so let's be more mindful of what we said online and if some if one of us one of the or minorities is winning we all win so let's support them Thank you guys for watching. It was very nice to see you. I will see you in another two months. Say hi to my boyfriend. <laughs> and I look too good to be with you. And, <laughs> and I look too good to be... Anyway, guys. I, <laughs> I made it myself. I am cutting all my clothes and calling myself a designer, bitches. Eat it up. Oh my god, I'm so cute. <laughs> Look at this. I registered so good like this. And this, we are starting, we are learning to love this. <laughs> anyway, guys, bye.